The Astronaut with a Song for the Stars. If you have a mission, a dream to explore, but no one like you has achieved it before, listen to this tale of a one-star engineer of Dr. Ochawa, a space pioneer. In a city of Los Angeles on one fateful day, a baby was born in the spring month of May. This Ellen, you find, was no regular girl, yet her future was bright even out of this world. A grandchild of immigrants, Ellen was tough. All of her Mexican relatives, they had a rough. Her father would tell her when I was in school, people thought that Latinos would dirty the pool. He could swim in the water, but nice that it seemed. They were only allowed right before it was cleaned. That racism hurt, and it was hateful and wrong, and it taught him his children would need to be strong. Mother agreed, and she would made it quite clear. If you want to succeed, don't stop learning, my dear. It was easy for Ellen, so smart and astute, and the thing she loved the most was playing classical flute. I'll be a musician, she thought as she grew, an orchestra flutist. Hey, that's what I'll do. Then in college, she started to think about space, but spacemen were men, mostly white was the case. Unfair that it was, Ellen made her mind. I can study the shuttles and how they were designed. It's called engineering, her teacher explained. Forget it, that field is for boys, he proclaimed. She would never fear. Ellen got that degree, and she saw Sally Ride to go to space on TV. The first astronaut woman, and that's when she knew, if Sally can do it, then, I do, then I'll do it too. Alas, as you knew, life can sometimes be tricky, and the path of that dream, let's just say it got sticky. She tried out for space school, and what came of that? The elite NASA program rejected her flat. Did she stick with her goal? Oh, you bet. She had brains. The sh She learned more about rockets and piloting planes. She invented three systems, which used beams of light. Helped computers to see things that eyes couldn't quite. And boom, it was time. NASA finally took notice. You're in, they declared. We admire your focus. The training was hard, no rest or recovery. At last it paid off. Ellen boarded Discovery. Ten, nine, eight. The countdown began as she held with her might. Then the girl from the city of Angels took flight. Up, up, and away. And the higher they flew, they shot to the sky in a blink of an eye, and they orbited Earth green and blue. Now guess what she did up so far, far away? She took out a flute and she started to play. But in space people float, so she strapped down her feet or she'd go for a loop with each tweedledee tweet. When she finished her tune and consider it exist, our planet so tiny from such a great distance, though very few humans had been in this place, she finally done it, the world's first Latina in space. If you're thinking that's awesome, you're right, it was sweet. All those years of hard work helped her conquer this feat. And because of her skills, NASA needed her more. One mission is stellar, but Ellen did four. See, the tools that she managed was pretty profound, like an arm that helped astronauts spacewalk around. She studied the sun and effects on us here, the climate and harm of to Earth's atmosphere. This research, of course, brought her so much respect that the Johnson Space Center said Ellen direct. She accepted and set one more record to boot. First director with Latina American roots. Today here on Earth, Ellen has a new mission to bring all NASA's great deeds recognition. She plays the flute and one note she'll impart. There's a part of this world for both science and art. Yes, all the wisdom and talent, not small, has won her awards, but when true it beats all, there are schools with her name and the best honors indeed since a good education helped Ellen succeed. So if life knocks you down, lift your eyes to the sky, just dust off your wings, get back up, you can fly. With perseverance and knowledge, you surely go far. Keep your head up like Ellen and shoot for the stars.